I do have a haircut to get to. <laughs> I got to be looking fresh for this UNC Duke game on Saturday, and that is my third topic. Let's go ahead and knock out a Carolina Duke preview. Wow. Impromptu. I like it. Talk to me. What's the what's the vibes? What are you expecting from this game? Yeah, at, over at Bluffs HQ, we are feeling very good about UNC <laughs> going into the game. I am like kind of shocked how confident I am in this UNC team. I think the Notre Dame win. Okay, hear me out. I, I feel like yeah, the, I can I can sense the sarcasm is about to emanate as I'm gassing up my team for beating Notre Dame. Notre Dame was had won five of their last six. They're not a good team. They really aren't. I'm not going to try to defend that. But they were playing like a top 25 defense in the country. Carolina was able to score 1.3 points per possession on them. I think they've ironed out some of their late game execution issues. Once again, Greg's going to clown this, but they put the ball in Elliott Cadeau's hands late game now. Let him run the offense, run RJ off some off ball action, leads to some big RJ Davis buckets. Uh, defense has been looking more maniacal recently, returning to the January form. Cormac Ryan is playing the best defense of his career. Uh, I like his ability to, I don't want to say completely take Jerry McCain out of the game because that's not going to happen, but he will definitely face guard him and make life tough on him. I think RJ can hold his own against Jeremy Roach. Um, what I really think it comes down to is can Armando Baycott, uh, repeat his performance last time against Kyle Filipowski and can Kado can Kado give you some offense uh, as opposed to just like initiating it? Can he go get you a bucket too? Mm. That's what I'm looking for. But I feel like UNC can pull it off. Um, okay, so I am going to slightly tweak this. Although I love that you made sure we get Duke Carolina in this. Uh, Ralph Brian Ralph he checks CBB Ralph report did sign up to do Duke Carolina preview. I want to make sure he gets a chance to do that. So I want to do this more as like which team is better right now. And and I'll avoid that with Ralph and do more like matchup stuff. I want to know like who who is actually better. That's my my quest by the end of this is to learn that. I like the way you laid the groundwork of that. I'm glad you feel confident. And uh, your Elliot Cadeau stuff. I just want to add. My issue with Cadeau is not Cadeau the player. I think he's been a, done a really admirable job. My issue with Cadeau is that North Carolina fans act like he is like some five star chef. Like y'all are literally like ooh like cook Cado, and then he just makes a grilled cheese and you're like oh we got a chef like it's not special what he does he throws bounce passes and y'all are okay and a first team all-american guard left you and you're acting like you're better without him there's something very special about a well-made sourdough grilled cheese let's not blow past that yeah if Cado is making grilled cheeses it's on sourdough he's mixing in some goat cheese he's mixing yeah. in some tomatoes he's Gruyere throwing in some herbs like in there a little pinch of Gruyere. and it's he so is bad. making a homemade tomato bisque to go with it what? so <laughs> yeah maybe he's not a five-star chef but he's making you a good meal gregory and if you have better taste buds you would recognize oh it. that's dis Look, that's great we we have seen I, – I have – I still love Caleb Love. I have the shirt, that same shirt that guy has with the shot. I have a framed photo of the shot. Like, he is always going to be a, a Carolina hero in my mind. That being said, I think we saw, like, that that R.J. Davis love backcourt. We saw it maxed out. It got to a title game, didn't get there. Then we saw the flip side of it the next year. Like, I think the Cadeau-R.J. Davis pairing works better, and I get that – Caleb Love is going to be an All-American. Caleb Love is a better basketball player than Elliot Cadeau. But basketball is about fit. You know this, Coach Waddell. You've seen this on your AAU teams. Uh, and I, I think that this Carolina team, they've had some ups and downs over the past month since that first Duke game. They've struggled on the road. They've struggled some at home. But I think these last three halves of basketball, as in the second half against NC State and the, for the whole game against Notre Dame, two bad teams. I'm not trying to defend that. But it at least showed me, like, this team can take care of bad teams and I'm hopeful that that's going to translate back to them playing up to the competition when they played good teams this year, like what they did to Duke a month ago when they got probably yeah. their most complete offensive performance of the season uh, and kept Duke in check on defense. Yeah, sure. Uh, Car, you haven't said anything in this segment yet. Do you have, do you have Duke Carolina thoughts in general? Like which team is better? I got, I got two things here. I'm going to answer your question for first off. Uh, having a having merch and a frame picture of an ex that left you insane move could not okay. Could never I be, could never. Be I moved. got him before he transferred. So I, I don't. I don't. I would have had a seance and burned them in my backyard. You're. You're. <laughs> I guess we're just built different. Um. Secondly, right now Duke is the better team. Duke is. I think Duke is playing better basketball right now. I think they're the better team. 
Uh, that could change. If UNC goes into Cameron and wins it, UNC will be playing better. But as of right now, Duke is the better basketball team and playing better basketball, in my opinion. As and of as right of, as as of right now, or as of the whole season? I, I guess the whole season. Yeah, Duke's been the better team to me the whole season. Riley's looking at us sideways because Carolina beat Duke, but let's talk. Yeah, about we it. have a one game sample size to go on. Of uh, I, I sorry, let me say we have to go off the data point that we have that Carolina has been better for the whole season because they won the head to head matchup and it wasn't particularly close. Like I think UNC's ah! collection. Greg, UNC was up 10 in the first half, and anytime, anytime Duke cut it to 8, they answered with a big bucket. They were up 15 late in the second half. Duke hit some garbage to make it single digits. I hear you. Carolina was the better team that night. Duke shot 5 for 19 from 3 and lost by single digits. Yeah, because Carolina is good at guarding the 3. They've guarded it well all year. except Or against teams your... team started hitting 3s against you, and your oh, team no, has I metrically hanged. this UNC. <laughs> you guys do this every time we talk about UNC. No, listen, okay, here's my thing, because I, I get the, the, the simple argument is what Cart said, that, oh, Duke is playing better now. Let's just go through this, because, okay, since March 1st, which is a two-game sample size, Duke's the third-best team in the country on Torvik. North Carolina's 12th. Ooh, small sample size. Let's go back to February 1st. Since February 1st, Duke's the fourth best team in the country per Torvik. North Carolina, where are they? They're 18th in the country since February 1st. North Carolina's two spots behind Nevada, three spots behind Kyle Neptune's Villanova. Duke is five spots ahead of Purdue since February 1st. Uh, if you want to go back further, how about since January 1st? Now we're getting into the territory where North Carolina was really, really good, right? Duke's the eighth best team in the country. North Carolina is the ninth best team in the country since January 1st. How about since December 1st? Duke's the eighth best team in the country. North Carolina is the 10th best team in the country. How about all the way back to the first game of the season? Duke's the eighth best team in the country. North Carolina is the 11th best team in the country. I'm just, this is where I'm at with this. And this is why I'm like petty spiting my way into believing this Duke team's going to win it all. Everyone all year has been screaming about how good Carolina is. Why is no one talking about a Duke team that's 24 and 6? This is the first time in my life I feel like a Duke team is under the radar. And I saw. I don't get why. Like, why? This team has the same record Tennessee has. And I have 17 different segments on all the After Dark shows that are like, well, this team can win a national title. Where's the segment on Duke being good enough to do that? They're awesome. SEC is better than ACC. Okay, so this is their game, right? It's all – everything comes out of one game for Duke to prove themselves as contenders. hmm And you said I'll they're – I'll, I'll, I'll get there if they win this game. Okay, and you you do you think they will win the game? Because you said they're soft. I don't think they're going to win the game. Is Armando Baycott soft? You've never been a fan of his. Oh, he's, 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 he's soft-ish. He's not as soft as Flip. Not a soft to slip. Okay. Back to Riley. Uh, at the end of my tangent, any rebuttal, any thoughts? Yeah. Have you considered the fact that metrics are lying? No, I have not. I, you I, I mean, the one thing you can say is that metrics reward teams for blowing teams out. And Duke does do that. Michigan State is still a top 20 team per Kim Palm. That's okay. the state of the you, sport. That's the state of the sport. You could have used another team, too, by the way. That's back-to-back segments with shots in it. I get it. I'm I'm sorry, Big Card. That's that's on me. Uh, Gonzaga is the 15th best team on Kim Palm. Gonzaga's good. They are good, but I don't know if they're top 15. Wisconsin is the 22nd best team on Kim Palm. Yeah. Yeah, that's The the sport is cooked. I don't care about teams in the 20s, which is why I don't care about Carolina right now since they're 20-whatever since February. I love my first dates. 18th. (laughs) Uh... Last thing from this again, Duke is what they're they're twenty four and six. They've lost six games. That we, we talked. Ooh, the blown out at North Carolina, lose by nine in a game you couldn't make a shot. Their other five losses all came by five points or less. There's a soft. world where this team they're has soft. one loss this season. They're soft and they shrink in the moment. I mean, or they're or they're. Don't... I don't. I'm not calling them soft for losing at Wake Forest by four when Wake shot sixty percent from three. All of Carolina's losses are by seven points or less, except UConn. Like, are you, are you going to give them the same benefit of the doubt and say that they could be a one-loss team too? No, because you said except UConn. Well, they're also, yeah, they're also Duke was also given a game at Clemson on a phantom foul. Okay. Well, like I said, Duke's a national championship contender if they win this game. 
Okay. In my opinion. I'll concede that. I mean, I actually, I think they're good enough to win a title as is, even with regardless of what happens in this game, but I just think Carolina is a better team. Okay. Yes, some of that is fan talk, but I just think they're better defensively, and I don't. Th- I get what the metrics say. I don't think Duke's offense is that much better than Carolina's offense that it offsets it. I think that if Duke was being talked about to the extent North Carolina is being talked about, and North Carolina was not being talked about as little as Duke is not being talked about, I would think Carolina is the better team and would like them. I'm just a contrarian, and I'm in on Duke because no one else is in on them. And everyone's in on Carolina, and I still don't see it. These teams are identical to me. That's the truth, uh, which is why I think they should split, though. I think Duke needs to win this one to back up my beliefs and prove the Greg curse wrong that every fan tells me I curse their team. We'll see if that's true. Uh, are you, Riley, are, do you want to give a prediction on this? I don't know if you uh, – you could also do the preview with Ralph if you want to go more in-depth on it, but don't feel obligated to. Up to you. I'll just go ahead and give a prediction. Um I'm going to say UNC gets it done 85 to 77. Mm, Okay. All right. There you have it from Riz himself. Thanks, Riley. Let's get to one big thing presented by Bigby.